Hi everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be showing you a technique to do some watercoloring on a 3D embossed image. I'm going to be using the gorgeous Lovely Layers Spring Greenery die sets, one of my favorites. I'm also going to be using the Spring Medley 3D folder. The Honeybee Stamps 3D embossing folders are amazing and I just have so much fun working with them for sure. I'm going to also be using a go-to for me. This is the Scallop A2 Frames die set. It's an oldie but a goodie. And I'm also going to be using some paper from one of our paper pads. I'm going to be using the Homestead Harvest paper pad today. It's beautiful. If you haven't tried the Honey Bee paper pads yet, they are amazing. So I've got my um, patterned paper cut with my scallop frame and I have that white paper embossed. I'm going to use the Distress watercolor pencils here. There are three sets of pencils in this product line. They're amazing. There's so many fun ways you can use these. And so what I'm doing is activating the pigment with a wet watercolor brush. Now this is just a watercolor brush from my stash and so you could actually use any type of brush that you have. A round brush works really well because it has more of a point to it and what I'm doing is just taking that wet brush and activating that pigment on the pencil and then I'm taking that pigment and adding it wherever I want that color. So I want all of the blooms on this beautiful spring medley 3D folder to be that really pretty pretty speckled egg blue. So the two colors I'm using today of watercolor pencils are the, the speckled egg and also the uh, peeled paint. And both of these colors are in set number one. So both of the colors I've chosen today are from the same set. So if you don't have these yet and you're thinking about purchasing them, that first set does have some really nice basic colors in it. And these two pencils are in that set. So now I'm going in with the peeled paint. I'm using the exact same technique that I used for the blue, just going over all of those little leaf areas. And there you have just a really nicely colored embossed image with the background being white. I really wanted to retain some of that white space. Now I'm going to go in with my Distress Oxide inks in two colors of green for all of the greenery. I'm using Bundled Sage to start off with here, and then I'll go in with some peeled paint just to add a little bit of variety in the color. I'm using one of the smaller honeybee detail brushes here <clears throat> for the first layer. And then for the second layer of green, I'm using a waffle flower brush. Uh, Honeybee does carry the waffle flower brushes in the shop, so I will be sure to link up to those brushes as well. So I just wanted a little bit of a brighter green with that muted green. So again, I started with peeled paint and now I'm just going in, sorry, I started with the bundled sage and now I'm just going in with the peeled paint to add a little bit of a brighter color just to create a little bit of contrast. Now I'm not actually going to end up using all of these pieces, but I do like to, when I'm working on something like this, I'll often create extra pieces and just set the extra pieces aside. Now for some of the top layers for these pieces, of course, I'm going to bring in that speckled egg and a little bit of faded jeans. And so I started with the lighter color, the, spec the speckled egg, and then I'll just add a little bit of contrast with the faded jeans for all of these different top die cut areas. So I'll just finish adding those. Now I'm going to go ahead and layer up the top layers on the different little pieces. So for this foliage here from the spring, uh, the, from the lovely layer spring greenery set, I'm going to add those little pieces on with some foam adhesive. And this is actually from the lovely layers wildflowers die set. I just chose one of the little blooms from that set and die cut it. I trimmed the stem off. And then you can just see how I layered that together just for a little bloom on my card as well. Now I added some foam adhesive and I'm adding some liquid glue onto that just for some wiggle room. I'll add that onto the back of the patterned paper and adhere that onto an A2 size top folding card base. And then I'm going to add a little bit of twine around the embossed 3D embossed paper here. I've just wound it around three or four times just to create that, that extra texture and layer of twine there. I'll just tie that into a knot and then I'll layer over top of this. That knot won't even show. 
and that's just going to provide that little bit of extra detail. I'm going to add my honeybee liquid adhesive to the back of the embossed paper and glue that down flat onto the patterned paper. And now I'll start adding these die cut layered pieces uh, over top. And I'm just, you know, trying to create a little bit of a little bouquet of this greenery. And I just love the soft greens and blue tones. It's, it is really soft and muted, but I love that look. And the watercolor in the background is so pretty and it was so easy to do. So if you're a little bit intimidated by watercolor, you haven't really tried it a whole lot, this is a super easy technique. It's a really fun way to add color to an embossed image, a 3D embossed, sorry, not an embossed image, but rather a 3D embossed paper. And yeah, it's just, I think it's really fun and uh, super, I think a really, um, what's an easy technique, but I think it's a really effective technique in creating that little bit of color. Now I'm just adding some foam adhesive onto the back of these different die cut pieces to create that little bit more of dimension onto my project. I'll just take the, the paper release paper off the back and add that on. I love all of the detail of these different bits. I love that Honey Bee um, has on these dies created lots of um, embossing on the in the dies so that you do get that texture when you die cut these different pieces. So I think that's that's really super fun too. So just adds that little bit of extra. Now I've got my little bouquet of greenery. Now I'm just going to pop my little bloom on the bottom area there. And then of course there's going to be a nice spot for uh, sentiment in the center. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Dr. Phil Martin's Bleed Proof White. This is a product that will actually layer over top of your Distress Ink. I'm just going to water it down just a tiny little bit, not too much because I don't want to take away any of the opacity of this product. Just water it down a little bit, then I'll put it in my splat box and splatter away just to add that little bit of extra detail with the white splatter. Now I actually did also spray this with shimmer spritz so that before I did the white splatter, and I did this off camera, but I sprayed it with a sheer shimmer spritz so that all of the greenery right now has a really pretty shimmer and shine to it. Now I'm going to take the gorgeous Daisy Layers bouquet set and I'm going to grab a sentiment from this set. I love this set. I love the font. This is an all-time fave of mine from Honey Bee. And of course we have just such gorgeous different sentiments that are part of that. I love Enjoy Your Special Day. I think it's a really pretty sentiment. It works for a lot of different occasions. And uh, you can just take your um, Circle Stacks dies from Honey Bee and create two different layered circles. Layer them on top of each other with your stamped sentiment to create this really pretty little sentiment for a project. I did layer those together with a little bit of foam adhesive and then added that on with my um, liquid adhesive. Now I'm, I'm going to use these winter pearl stickers here from Honey Bee to add some of these really pretty little white pearls. I added six little pearls here to the top area and bottom to finish off my project. Friends, I have linked up in the description box below to all of the different products that I've used from Honey Bee and the Honey Bee Shop. Make sure you check that out. Make sure you subscribe and like this video and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.